Hi guys, my name is Philip and I'm a front-end developer. In today's video, we'll be explaining how to use a city name based weather API in Java. So in this example, we'll be using the real-time weather API, which supports multiple location types, specifically latitude and longitude, decimal degrees or coordinates, a city name, a US zip code or a UK postcode. In this tutorial, we'll be explaining how to use a city name for the real-time weather API and job. Now that we've got that out of the way, we have to open our code editor and I've chosen to work with IntelliJ. So let's take a quick look at our code. We are first importing the OKHttp3 library and a few of its classes. OKHttp OK is a library that allows us to send and receive HTTP requests and responses by communicating with the server. As you already know, we have to first create a public class with uh, it when working in Java and we have to put everything inside of its function. So we start by initializing the OKHttp OK client and building our request. The request is of a get site and we put in the URL and we add the accept and application JSON headers. Uh, we also have to choose the city name we'll be going for. In this case, I've chosen Toronto. Once we've built the request, we should put it inside of a try catch block in case we have any potential errors. In case we have errors, the errors will be printed out in the console. Otherwise, we'll get the response. Now that everything's set, we simply have to press the run button in the top right corner. And as you can see, this gives us real-time data in the, uh, in the location we've chosen for. The application we went for is Toronto. This response contains valuable information such as cloud base, rain intensity, surface level pressure, and much, much more. And that will be it for today. Thank you for watching.